In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create six options infographic slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show you the first option where you can add the title, the detailed text along with the icon. When I click, it will show you the second option with some different color combination. The third option, fourth, fifth and the option number six. So depending on your requirement, you can increase or decrease. I have created one more slide where I've added only uh, three options here. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe and make sure to, to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my Telegram group with the help of this QR code and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the background to any dark color background. Then go to insert shapes. I'm going to choose the rounded corner rectangle. Draw the rounded corner rectangle, maybe this much size. And you can see the small orange point just drag this somewhat outside so it becomes less curved at the corner shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to fill this with white so now that depending on the requirement you can increase or decrease the option for example if you are going to use uh, six options then you need to reduce the height and width or if you are going to use three options then this uh, size is perfect then i'm going to insert few more shapes so go to insert shapes i'm going to choose a rectangle draw a rectangle you can see here make sure this some part it's outside of the box and then make sure this is uh, perfectly in the center shape outline no outline shape field you can just give any color of your choice so i'm going to give this purple uh, the pink color then go to insert shape select this top corners rounded this rectangle all right just draw it shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to give some dark color of this okay then rotate i can just rotate it uh, left 90 degrees all right and then this particular small orange point just drag this outside or sorry inside so it becomes more curved and then reduce the size you can see here and then send this to back all right so let me just zoom in and i can just show you how to do that part bring it down and make sure that it is properly aligned so it looks something like this again if you want you can give the same color also the same color which we have given pink the same color can be given and make sure that this is properly aligned all right and then if you want you can just reduce the corner a little bit clear so once this is done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert shapes. I'm going to select this uh, right triangle. All right, draw the right triangle. You can see here, shape outline, make sure, make it no outline. Same color I'm going to give. Now I'm going to make it, you can see a flip vertical. So I got a shape like this. Now I'm going to select this one and add it the other side also. So hold the control shift key just drag it a little bit outside and then reduce the size all right and then i'm going to copy this press ctrl d rotate i'm going to make it flip vertical and then i'm going to make it flip horizontal and then put it here so i end up getting a shape like this and make sure that this is properly aligned or you can just zoom in and then check i think this is properly aligned all right then i'm going to copy this one press ctrl d to duplicate again rotate this one and then put it exactly the way we put it before and send this to back you can see here all right and make sure that this is again properly aligned something is not correct here i believe so let me just correct it all right i think this is okay all right so once this is done you can select both of these shapes press ctrl g and select this shape and press ctrl g all right so if i look it looks something like this okay so now once the design is ready what you can do is you can give some gradient fill also for this one for example let me just select this one right mouse click go to format shape i'm going to select the gradient fill here the gradient fill i'm going to add two stops only one stop which is our pink and second stop also i'm going to make it pink but it has to be more darker this side okay so for this one i'm going to move this aside here go to more colors and then i'm going to give more darker color at the corners and then move this here 
so you can see here it gives kind of of this kind of effect so the same thing you can do it for this also again gradient fill and here now you have to move this here all right and this one you have to move it like this all right so you can see here this effect we got it now now let's add some text so i'm just going to add the title send uh, make it white font make it bold if you want you can increase the size more and i'm going to put it here go to insert text box and equals low rem within bracket one i don't want this much la large text so i'm going to delete some of the text and white font reduce the size and put it here all right so let's align and then you can go to insert icons and you can add some icons and here i'm going to put it like this shape fill i'm going to make it white so you can see here the design is ready now let's do the animation part so select this text and this one and press ctrl g to group it again the icon and this one press ctrl g to group it all right now close this one go to the animations enable the animation pane so first of all i'm going to choose this one add animation more entrance effects i'm going to select stretch and click ok and then i'm going to select this one wipe animation wipe you have to make it from right and this should happen after previous then this particular uh, uh, rectangle for this also i'm going to make it wipe and now wipe i have to make it from left and this should happen after previous so if i play it comes like this and again let me just select the small rectangle wipe starting from left make sure that this is after previous and this also again wipe now i'm going to make it right and this is also after previous so let me just show you when i click you can see here it comes like this you know full circle kind of things it comes all right so now once this is done i'm going to select this one hold the control shift key this is for the second option hold the control shift key and drag it this is the third option so now i can just put it here and i can just change the color i want so let me just close this one right mouse click go to format shape and i can give any color of my choice okay so whichever color which you feel you can just give any color here